Salutations YouTube, Brian Heisel, some Motorsports. Today, we're gonna talk about torquing the jam nuts on your top mounts with your JRZs. Some good procedures and some ways not to have them come back to me for expensive repairs because we didn't have all the info. When you have a 14 mil shaft like this, they use 22 millimeter nuts and it's difficult, you know, with this not in the car because there's no resistance. But what you want to do is in your installation instructions or your basic information, which come with the dampers, or I'm happy to email it to you if you send us an email to our website at olsenmotorsports.net. Our contact information is right on there. You want to come in and you set the prescribed torque here. Again, I'm simply not strong enough to hold that, but we'll pretend that we achieved the torque that we needed. Now. Here is where most mistakes happen. With the second jam nut, this is not one that you torque. You bring that down, touching the other one, and you don't even need a big old wrench. I use this little thin guy. And it's just a cinch and that will hold everything together and keep it from coming loose. And the reason we do that is that these shafts for the rebound adjustment have a hold down. So the wall thickness isn't that big where the jam nuts are and if you get aggressive, for example, if you use a big impact gun or something, you can over torque this and it splits the thread which causes leaks and sometimes things to come flying apart in hilariously catastrophic ways. Even more important, if you have something, for example, like a Nissan GTR with an even thinner profile piston top and this groove, see the groove here, the wall is very thin right there. So you want to be very careful setting your torque. And then again, when you come with your jam nut, it's a very light cinch. Otherwise, you can tear that pretty easily. So make sure you use your light hand tools when installing your JRZ pin tops and the car will run fine, nothing will come loose, you'll be happy and you only have to send them in for rebuild when it's actually time. For more information on the rebuild intervals, check out our tech blog at olsenmotorsports.net. We have a little article on there that discusses when to send them in for the way that you're using your sets of shocks. Thanks for watching. Please comment with any questions you have and subscribe to our channel.